Now, I know there are a couple of people suggested putting certain things in certain um, orifices. Hi, Tom Fulmer here with National Drug Screening, and here's part of our series, Questions from Cora. Today we have a very specific question. It's how effective is putting water in your urine to pass a drug test? So in other words, can you do that? So what I found interesting is the answers to these questions. Really, it's not going to work if it's done correctly. If you use a reputable train collector, you send the specimen to the laboratory for confirmation testing and for initial screening, um, as you should as an employer. But that being said, here are some of the interesting answers that they had. One was, yes, go ahead and fill it up with toilet water first instead. Um, obviously, that won't work if the collection is done correctly because they're supposed to be bluing tablets in the toilet. If you're using a collection site that does not follow best practices, anything could happen. So you're not using a train collector, uh, definitely a downfall in that circumstance because they put a bluing tablet in the toilet, which means if they scoop up the water, it's going to then be blue. Plus, if anybody's ever gotten the toilet bowl stuff on your hands or whatever, your hands are going to be blue too. It'll be quite obvious. So obviously that, uh, that answer, but there were several people that gave that answer, by the way. Um, there's also another one in here that says, um, yes, just carry in some water hidden in a bottle and go ahead and put that in there. Okay, yeah, maybe they could go ahead and do that. But if they have that in their pocket, a good collector is going to be trained to have somebody both wash and dry their hands and empty their pockets, hold their pockets flat to make sure that they don't have anything stuffed in their pockets. Now, another couple of people suggested putting certain things in certain um, orifices, which uh, we're not going to get into that, but that's a whole nother level of, um, of crazy that's out there. But these are things people are actually recommending people do. Now, anytime a specimen is diluted and if water was somehow added to the specimen and it gets to the laboratory, if it's being lab tested, they're going to do specimen validity testing to make sure that it's an actual specimen being sent in. And again, we're talking about a urine drug screen here. So they're gonna do that specimen validity testing and that's gonna help detect that and make sure it's done accurately. But one thing I'll challenge you to do is, you know, because what you don't know is probably costing you money and maybe opening you up to liability as an employer. Read some of the questions, but more importantly, read some of the answers. You'll find that a lot of people out there who are in jobs and looking for jobs are the ones asking these kinds of questions. Also having a different specimen type might be something to consider. Large trucking companies have shifted from doing the urine only required drug test to also doing hair testing. Can't be cheated or adulterated. The Department of Transportation has been directed to adopt rules for oral fluid testing. Again, if done correctly, can't be cheated or adulterated if it's done as it should be done. So there are alternate specimen types may be available to you. They may be required in certain circumstances. So again, Tom Fulmer with National Drug Screening, here with your questions from Quora, interesting things. Make sure you check out our blog at nationaldrugscreening.com. You'll see great, accurate information to help you be more effective in maintaining a safe and drug-free workplace.